If I'd known since I was four that I was going to be shooting a Star Wars film, I would have planned it all my life. This film, these characters, this story I grew up with, it's a whole world I've been thinking about for quite a long time. You can feel everyone in the crew and the cast kind of stops and just takes that in, and you remember, oh, we're actually in Star Wars. It's like the world's greatest toy set. It's a bit like being that kid again <laughs> with Star Wars figures. Stormtroopers over here, and then this happens, there's an explosion. It's been a lot of fun. It's the greatest job in the world. Rogue One takes place very close to episode four. The simplest way to explain it is that text you see at the beginning of A New Hope. That is essentially our movie. They call it the Death Star. Terrible weapon. But there's a way to defeat it. Jin's starting to put together a team. She wants to fight. We all do. How many do we need? It is an ensemble movie, but at the heart of it is a strong woman. The time to fight is now. Every day, they grow stronger. All these characters are real heroes that are willing to risk everything. Light the place up and make 10 men feel like 100. Through their journey, we see the formation of the Rebel Alliance and the stealing of the Death Star plans. Anyone not willing to risk being left behind? Now's your chance to speak up. That is a bad idea. Hey. Quiet. They achieve what they achieve because they achieve it together. This is Rogue One.